Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ye from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery, here to talk about high PTH levels after surgery for primary hyperparathyroidism. If you've had parathyroid surgery, it's natural to have questions about your parathyroid hormone or PTH levels afterward, especially if they're still high. Here's what you need to know. When is surgery considered successful? in primary hyperparathyroidism. Remember that primary hyperparathyroidism is usually caused by one overactive parathyroid gland called an adenoma. During surgery, we watch PTH levels in real time to make sure they drop after the abnormal gland is removed. After surgery, the PTH levels should drop right away and calcium levels usually return to normal in a few hours or sometimes days. What if the PTH level is still high after surgery? There are several possibilities. First, if your PTH level and your blood calcium level are both high, this could mean that either the operation was unsuccessful, meaning it didn't remove the correct abnormal gland, or it could mean that another overactive gland is present in your neck and was missed. It's rare, but a second surgery may be needed. Now, what if the PTH level is high, but the blood calcium level is normal? Now, this is a very common scenario, and it's called a eucalcemic PTH elevation after parathyroid surgery. It occurs in 25 to 40% of patients after successful parathyroid surgery. And good news, it usually does not need more surgery or any other specific treatment. You may wonder, why is the PTH level still high, even if the blood calcium is normal? And there are several possible reasons. The most common reason is if your vitamin D level is low, and that's easy to fix with vitamin D supplementation. Kidney disease can cause high PTH without a high blood calcium. And sometimes there's no clear reason. Some people just seem to need a higher PTH level to keep their calcium level within the normal range. Even if we don't find a clear cause of your PTH elevation, this is not dangerous and doesn't harm your health. Does this mean your hyperparathyroidism will come back? Well, a high PTH level could slightly raise the risk of hyperparathyroidism returning, but remember, this only matters if your blood calcium level also rises again, typically to 10.4 or greater. The bottom line here is that a high PTH alone after parathyroid surgery is usually not a problem. As long as the blood calcium is normal, there's no need to worry. And follow-up of this condition usually includes calcium and PTH blood tests from time to time, a check of your vitamin D level, and a check of your kidney function. Once again, I'm Dr. Michael Ye from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery, and thank you for watching.